And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter. Magnesium is always bound to another substance. In supplements, magnesium can be bound either to a mineral group, as in magnesium oxide, magnesium sulfate, or magnesium phosphate or carbonate, referred to as an inorganic form, or to a substance of biological origin, which would be an organic form of magnesium. These different forms have different degrees of absorption, of course, but the substance that magnesium is bound to is not just an inactive carrier. In many cases, it also plays a role in body function. And for this reason, the different forms of magnesium have slightly different effects on the body. The inorganic magnesium forms are generally absorbed at a lower rate, and because of this, most of them draw water to the large intestine more strongly, which is more likely to induce a bowel movement. These inorganic forms are usually less expensive and contain higher amounts of magnesium per weight, so fewer pills are needed for a decent dose. And so some of these forms of inorganic magnesium include magnesium oxide, which is magnesium bound to oxygen, and it is very poorly absorbed. It's commonly used as a harsh laxative and sometimes as an antacid. Magnesium carbonate is magnesium bound to a mineral group containing carbon and oxygen, and it's sometimes used as an antacid also. It's moderately well absorbed and can also have a bowel loosening effect. Magnesium chloride is often extracted from water with a high salt content, like the Dead Sea or the Great Salt Lake. Elemental magnesium only makes up about 12% of magnesium chloride, but the magnesium is generally believed to be well absorbed, and this form is also frequently used in topical magnesium products like sprays and gels. The organic magnesium forms are generally well absorbed and will have a less pronounced effect on the bowels. They tend to be bulkier though, so more pills or powder may be necessary to obtain a useful dose. And so these forms would include magnesium citrate, which is the most commonly used form in supplements. Magnesium citrate easily dissolves in liquid and it's well absorbed. Citrate is involved in energy production and may actually enhance this process, especially in higher amounts. Magnesium citrate can also have a bowel loosening effect. Magnesium gluconate is magnesium bound to the naturally occurring compound gluconic acid. It's well absorbed and does not cause any bowel dysregulation. Magnesium gluconate has also been shown to fight free radicals and the oxidative stress they cause, and in this capacity, magnesium gluconate may be protective of the cardiovascular system. Magnesium glycinate is magnesium bound to the amino acid glycine. It is very well absorbed and does not exert a laxative effect on the bowels, generally speaking. Glycine is a built-in amino acid and also a calming neurotransmitter in the brain. And so because of this, the calming effect of glycine will actually enhance the already calming effect of magnesium. Magnesium l 3 innate is bound to threonic acid and readily crosses the blood-brain barrier more efficiently than other forms of magnesium. And in the brain, it supports memory by improving mechanisms necessary for brain cells to communicate. Magnesium malate is magnesium bound to malic acid, which is found naturally in apples and other fruits and vegetables and plays an important role in energy production. Magnesium malate may be especially beneficial to athletes and those suffering from fatigue and musculoskeletal problems like fibromyalgia. Magnesium orotate is magnesium bound to erotic acid. Orotates are used by the body to create DNA and RNA, and when bound to magnesium, they may support improved athletic performance while protecting an already weakened heart. Magnesium orotate also does not have any kind of laxative effect. Magnesium taurate is magnesium bound to the amino acid taurine. Taurine has a calming effect on the brain and the body, it also positively influences heart health by slowing the progression of plaque formation in the arteries, modulating blood pressure and heart rate, and supporting healthy blood clotting. And like the other forms, magnesium taurate also generally does not affect the bowels. So there are a couple other forms of magnesium that you'll typically run into. 
Ionic magnesium is magnesium that's been dissolved in a solution, typically water, to free the magnesium from the substance it was bound to. Many claim that ionic magnesium is much better absorbed than other forms, but there's currently not much research available to verify this claim. Ionic magnesium can also have a bowel loosening effect. And as I said before, there is also topical magnesium for the skin. People have been absorbing magnesium and other minerals into the body through the skin for centuries through mineral hot springs or Epsom salts. So recently, several companies have introduced topical magnesium oils, sprays, and gels. These products allow you to deliver magnesium directly to sore muscles to utilize its relaxing properties or simply as a way to get magnesium into the body while completely bypassing the digestive system. So think about a topical magnesium if you tend to have a sensitive stomach. As I've told all of you before many times, most of us are terribly deficient in magnesium. So I hope I've shown you today that you have quite a few options for increasing your intake of magnesium. And while any time of day is fine, because it's so relaxing, you might want to take it at nighttime. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.